So a lot of times people are just reacting, people get upset, they get in their feelings, and rather than talking about it, they either shut down, they, they act out, they do things that work against them, whereas if they would have just sat down and discussed it, they may have been able to fix things. I cannot tell you how many times I have counseled a couple, whether it was a, a married couple or just boyfriend and girlfriend, and the relationship ends, and when you talk to both individuals, what you find out is neither one completely had a full picture as to what the issue was. And they didn't have that full picture because the other person never fully explained it, as well as they never fully explained it. Well, same thing. They never fully explained it to their partner. So essentially, people think they're talking, but they're not. What they're doing is they're arguing, they're screaming, they're reacting in the moment, all right? but they're not effectively communicating. So one, it's not just talking about it, it's effectively talking about it. It's learning how to be heard and to hear them. It's learning how to gain the clear picture of what they're saying rather than assuming things. So much goes wrong because people assume, well, this is what they meant. This must mean that. They start analyzing, overthinking, and they assume wrong. And you know what they say about assuming? I'll leave it at that. But the bottom line is you have to learn to talk to each other. You have to learn how to gain clarity. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, what am I supposed to do if I'm with someone who doesn't want to talk? Well, my first question is, why are you still with them? If you can't talk to your partner, there is no relationship. What are we doing there? We're wasting our time. Now, again, you should make sure you have taken all, uh, all steps to create healthy communication in that relationship. But if you've done that and they simply refuse, there's nothing to do. It's time to let them go, all right? So make sure that that is the, the, the route that you've taken in trying to establish effective communication. And, and the key is you want to do that as early as possible, not even just in the relationship, while you're even dating. To, to, if you have a dysfunctional way of communication or just a, not a strong foundation of communication in the dating process, well, guess what? You're going to take that into the relationship. You're going to take that into the marriage. You're only going to pass on the bad habits and the dysfunction if it's not corrected. So you can't keep waiting because the longer you wait, the harder it gets to correct it. The more you have to undo, the process gets a lot more difficult. And so for a lot of people, it's not that the situation cannot be fixed. Is they're too tired to do all the work to fix it. They're too tired to deal with all the drama and baggage that has been piled on from bad communication, from a lack of emotional maturity and all the other things going on that create dysfunction. And it's just like, I don't have enough energy to deal with this, so I'd rather just walk away. Or they remain in the relationship, allowing it to be more dysfunctional, causing more damage. So at the end of the day, you got to talk. You got to be able to communicate because poor communication is a huge, reasons why, huge reason why relationships are failing. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here, and I'll see you there. Now listen, I can't tell you how many women I have coached and counseled who complain about not being able to talk to their partner, all right? And, and not in the sense of, 